In this video, I'm going to go over the process of painting additional detail in the mask so that the spot here on the top of the head actually shows the yellow plastic texture through it. So what I need to do to start is go to the mask that is on the head, right click, and choose Add Paint. And I now can paint additional detail onto this mask. What I want to do is on the head area, I want to paint this area with black so that I can see materials that are underneath it. So in order to do that, I need to scroll down and where it says grayscale, change that to black. And then the easiest thing is going to be able to use a mask as an alpha to get this shape correct. So I'm going to go into the alphas tab and I'm going to scroll down until I get to this rectangle half rounded. And I'm going to drag that into the alpha. And there's a few things that I want to do to adjust this. Um, one is that I don't want to be able to paint like that. I want to make sure that I can just kind of stamp it easily. So I'm going to come up here and make the spacing um, all the way up. And that makes it so that it's pretty far spaced, so it's easy just to then stamp the texture. The next thing I need to do is increase the size. Not that much. I basically want to get it so that it just about fits in here in this direction. So I need to rotate this around, and the easiest way to rotate is to hold down Control and then move your mouse with your left mouse button and rotate your scene. You can also just go into um, the properties over here and adjust the angle. So now the other thing I want to do is adjust the roundness of that, the tighter corners of the rounder, rounded rectangle. So I'm going to scroll down to where the alpha properties are and increase this roundness. It's a little bit too much. Something like that is pretty good. All right, so I now can adjust this. And what I want to do is have it so that it basically sits right within the um, rectangular space there. And then I can, again, hold down Control and my left mouse button and get that angle just right. So I now have a mask here so that now the steel isn't showing on that rectangle. So then I can go back to down to the handle and select the mask there. And I want to make sure that my grayscale color is turned to white. And again, right click, add paint, and basically do the same thing only be painting with white. And now you'll see that the yellow that is on the handle is now showing through properly. All right, 
so now the yellow is part of the handle instead of part of the head there. And the th cool thing about uh, using the paint layer like this is I can turn those on and off to change where the ma whether the masks, um, what I painted affects the masks or not. All right, so in the next video, I will start working on adding height detail to the handle to get the, the uh, indent and the grooves for the grip.